There we go. And as soon as I'm done recording, I will put the pig picture back up one more time, but I don't want to record it. Here we go. Rob Mazurik and Deb from Unsigned Musicians when we were on Blog Talk Radio. It says there's a sign on Deb's house protected by Smith and Wesson and, and handwritten underneath <laughs> that sign and really large dog named Mikey. Yeah, yeah I, wouldn't even, I wouldn't even worry about the guy. I'd be more worried about Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> the dog's a monster. Oh, he's pretty yeah. huge, but my guns are too. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A friend of mine told me once, um, I, I had this, I was holding this 357 Magnum with a six inch barrel and oversized grips and Oh, yeah. He looked at me and he said, you know, he said, a woman with a gun that big, you don't even have to know how to use it to be scary. What, do you have it's, a big model 28 end frame there? Or what? Um, I'm not even sure. It, it's huge. It's, it oh, is okay. huge. And it, oh, I love this gun. It's really, really sweet. Very accurate. Yeah. But yeah, he was saying that a woman with a gun that size doesn't even have to know how to use it. Just pick it up and look scary. Because yeah, you never know where the hell she's going to shoot. <laughs> Yeah, there's there's nothing more unnerving to a, to a criminal who's uh, just scared the shit out of some woman and she's holding a gun. Oh, I know. So. Uh, yep. Yeah, it's a, a definite deterrent because uh, he's going to think twice about making a step forwards towards you. Yeah, we were at the the gun range one night. That that used to be our idea of a hot day. Uh, we would go to the gun range. And <laughs> well, at least you had some place. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's better than going to the bar, right? Right. Okay, there was this gun range in Orlando, and um, Friday night was ladies' night, and ladies could shoot for free. You know, like they have ladies' nights at the bar. Right, yeah. Well, we went in there one night, and there was only one lane open. Okay. So you well, took turns. This guy comes in by himself, and he's got this bag and he pulls out this gun and he starts shooting sideways like drive by oh he's trying to be a big gangster and I looked at my husband I said oh my god I said this guy's practicing for a drive by yeah, well then he pulls out this shotgun with pistol grips on it mm. and he's doing the same thing with it and at this point I'm really freaking out I mean this guy is really practicing for a drive by oh my god you know, we got to get out of here and get to our car, and we got Mr. Drive by over here. Well, we kept on shooting, and we put this, this silhouette target down there, and I started firing at it, and I shot at the chest and walked it down, and the last shot went in the crotch. Okay. <laughs> well, suddenly I realized you could hear a pin drop in this place, and I looked around. I'm the only woman in there. I looked around and everybody is looking at my target. <laughs> <laughs> and I started laughing so hard. I was crying. And all of a sudden, all these guys come running over to us and start talking to us. And, Here, shoot mine, shoot mine. <laughs> <laughs> Even Mr. Drive By wanted to be my buddy. <laughs> well, you know, that's the thing, Deb. I mean,. You know, people think as gun owners as some weirdos or whatever, but I mean, we're the friendliest people you can imagine and the most loyal. Oh, yeah. Just like any other group of people, when you get them together, it's just a regular group of people. You know, just because you own a gun, you don't go and buy a gun and all of a sudden grow, your skin turns green, you go, you grow 10 feet tall and you go, <laughs> you know, which is, which is the stereotype. Well, it's you a know. misconception by the media, I mean, you know. Oh, yeah, exactly. But that was Deb from Unsigned Musicians on, with uh, our good friend Robin Zurich, known as the Sperminator here on Blog TV. Um, <laughs> back on our old Blog Talk radio show, Deb talking about Mr. Drive-By, Rob talking about one of his favorite subjects, as we all know, guns. So That was a great show that night. I've always loved that story. Hey, Corey, good to see you. Okay, hang on. Let me stop this. <laughs> 